So the goal of the industry councils is to focus on the alignment of business, partners, educators, and talent to enhance our, low, our regional impact and growth of these industry vertical markets. Um, I want to point out, as Karen mentioned earlier, uh, she kind of took the, uh, the, the segue into the uh, recent House Bill 7051 and Senate Bill 240, which are now law or will be law effective uh, here shortly, that tie, tie all of this, what we're trying to accomplish here today uh, into that law. So we're, we're a little bit ahead of the game with regards to that. And where I'm talking about is they're looking at creating industry consortiums or local consortiums within the local workforce development areas to tackle these very things we're talking about today. So it's great that we're having this conversation and it's actually what is in that laws in that legislation. So we're unpacking it as we go prior to even being effective. Uh, another area that I did want to focus on with that with Senate Bill 240 is that ability for us to get in front of those individuals in K through 12 uh, with our businesses in the fact in the in the in the means of job fairs, education consortiums, uh, career connect conferences. These are all the things that will be coming down the pipe for us to have the opportunity to get to in front of these young adults, these young individuals, educate, inform them. Uh, as Dr. Laney and Laney pre presentation displayed, there are some early recommendations that will that will need to be the basis for our initial work of these councils. Each council will have a leader that will facilitate the discussions and a project team organizing the inputs for each conversation, establishing a reporting process and may and managing meeting logistics. Councils will meet with some frequency a schedule which will be determined and, and published within the next month. Currently, the councils are envisioned to begin to meet soon, leveraging the existing good work of organizations and partners throughout the regions. Our objective today is to suggest, suggest ways for you all to participate. So you should have in the poly, you should have a question of which one of these uh, uh, topics you would like to in these industry councils as well as the next one will be which council would you like to be involved in so i encourage you please take a moment to please sign up for a council if you would like to help us with our workforce talent growth our team will follow up with you in the near future uh, at this time i'll give you a few minutes to uh, answer that question that just popped up uh, i want to be involved with an industry council the votes are growing that's good we're up to 25. can we get 50. <laughs> Uh, there was a question that was posed about what if we are already on an industry council? I'm not sure what those industries council would be, Arthur, uh, and or where they would align within the three that we're trying to uh, uh, put together here with uh, this regional project. So we could get back to you with that one. Or maybe one of my peers would have uh, a better idea. Advanced manufacturing, okay. okay. Then you probably would roll into advanced manufacturing. Give it a couple more minutes, so um, we'll go to 11.20. Uh, advanced fan, uh, can we pick two? Uh, I think the, the um, the survey question will only allow you to have one, Ted, but if you want to uh, pick another one, please put it in the chat. We'll make sure that uh, the project team gets you on that one as well. Thank you.
And for anybody that's having issues with the poly, uh, please feel free to, if you want to participate in a council, uh, please type it in the chat and we'll make sure we get you in that council. This is amazing, Fa fabulous participation. I'm going to cut it off at 1120, but again, I think they'll leave the chat open. And if you didn't get an opportunity to s select a, uh, a council, we'll let the chat keep going so you can get in there. But uh, thank you again. Thank you, everybody, for your participation. To close this out this morning, I would like to introduce Robin King, CEO of Career Source Flag of Lucia and co-chair of the Florida Atlantic Workforce Alliance. Robin. Thank you, Brian. And thank you to all of you who have stuck with us all this three hours or two and a half. There was a lot of information that was shared. One of the things that we're going to ask you is to give us a couple words to describe what you heard and learned today. You can either drop it into the poly or the chat is still open, I believe. You could put it in there. Um, thank you to the speakers. You shared such tremendous insights with us today and a lot of data and these Industry councils that we are going to be forming will really do a deeper dive into all that information that we heard. So we did record this because there was going to be so much to be shared. And so that will be available. And I know that I, my local newspaper, for example, has already asked for a recording so that they can start to highlight and help with the uh, awareness around what we are creating here. We'll also be sending out information on uh, a survey to kind of get some feedback. If you didn't get the opportunity to sign up here or, or you want more information, you'll be able to put that in there. Also, we have listed our project coordinators that is for each of our areas, uh, Ashley, Stephanie, and Rick, who can guide you if you want to get in contact with one of the presenters, um, learn more, and, and help us as we move this forward. Because this alliance really does belong to you, right? That our project coordinators, my um, co-chairs Brian and Marcy, we're facilitators. The Alliance belongs to you. And I really, for those who are on um, today from Career Source Florida DEO and the REACH office, thank you so much for your leadership and providing this opportunity for our six county region. Looking forward to what we can do on this commercial space, advanced manufacturing, the cybersecurity IT, just tremendous work and looking forward to working with all of you. So with that, I'm going to close out the meeting and thank you again for your participation. Look forward to seeing you on the Industry Council soon. Take care. <laughs>